like me, when you go through things that don't feel like me, and you ask me a question and let me know that you have been indoctrinated with my truth. Right, thank you. Amen. Thank you. Questions don't bother God. Amen. The only time God gets upset with us, there's two reasons. The first reason being that we're not living in faith. And then the second reason is that we have chose to accept a sinful life over his righteousness. Amen, amen. That's the only time God gets offended. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody, that's the only time God gets offended. offended. God when God when gets I choose not to live faith in faith and when I choose unrighteousness over his righteousness. That's the only time God gets offended. So now, Anytime you have a question about something you go through, don't feel bad to go to him with it. Amen. Go ahead and give it to him. So when we see here the psalmist is questioning God, he is really exercising his right to an audience with God because he knows where he can get his questions answered. You see, when we want to know something, about a particular product that we purchase, what do we do? We go to the website of the manufacturer. Uh, I want to know something about this Casio here. and I, I don't have a manual, but I want to learn about this Casio. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Casio's website, put in the model number, and figure out what I want to know. Uh -huh. That's right. So then we have to understand that our lives are a product from God. And since our lives are a product from God, the best thing for us to do if we have a malfunction in our life is to go to the manufacturer and ask him, why is this happening? Mm -hmm. How can I get this fixed? Uh, tell somebody, how, how, how can I get this fixed? Uh, ask somebody, how can I get this fixed? Boys ain't open his mouth all day. Uh, yes, God. All right, all right. Ooh, uh, so now, so now, so now, so now, so now, what we have to do is we have to look at the questions in detail. Uh, uh, when we question God about something, we are going through what we really want to know. When we're going through what we really want to know is how long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's really it. That's yes. right. What, what I really want to know? Yes, God. How long do I have to deal with this? Yes. How, how long do I have to go through this? You see, I, I'm a firm believer that if I know, watch this, the expiration of my situation, I can go through without perspiration. Amen. Yes, Amen. Oh, y'all missed it. Y'all missed Amen. it. Uh, if, if I know the expiration of my situation, I can go through without perspiration. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, if I know the end of what I'm going through, I can go through with no sweat. Oh, uh, tell somebody, no sweat, no sweat, no sweat, don't sweat it, don't sweat it, don't sweat it. Uh, you know, I'd be like that kid uh, at Christmas time, counting down the days to Christmas. If I knew when I was coming out, I'd just be like 30 days slash 29 days slash 28 days. I'm just chilling because I know I'm coming out. Uh, 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 27 days slash, oh my God, 26 days slash. I'll be counting down the days until I walk out. All right. But the reality of it is that we don't know. Amen. We, we don't know. So, so now I'm bothered because I don't know the end. But if I knew the end, I'll be good. Is that fair to say? That's right. Let's be real about it. If you knew the end of when you were going to go through something, you would go through it with ease. Yes, God. Right? But the problem we have is we don't know when this thing is over. Yes, Lord. So we struggle in our faith. So when I don't know when my time of testing is going to be over, I have a natural tendency to lose heart and lose my focus. Amen, amen. Don't beat yourself up because you lose heart sometimes. Don't beat yourself up because you lose focus sometimes. The reality of it is we all do. We all go through those moments where we lose focus. We all go through those moments where we lose heart. Don't beat yourself up just because you feel like you ain't going to make it. Yes, that's right. Let's be real about it, man. Uh, we need somebody to tell us the truth. Oh, my God. Everybody in here has times when they feel like they're not going to make it. That's right. 
Yes, no. But the reason why a lot of people don't be honest with themselves is because we're, we've been taught that we're supposed to walk around chipper and happy all the time. Amen. Yes, Amen. But that ain't true. Hmm. It's not true. It's okay for us to feel like we're struggling. It's okay for us to feel like we're losing our focus and we're losing heart because it happens. Amen. Oh, y'all with me up in here? Amen. It happens, y'all. It happens. It happens. Uh, so, so the question becomes now, how do I know when I'm losing heart and my focus? How do I know? Tell somebody. Ask somebody. How do I know when I'm losing heart? Come on. Come on. Come on. Ask them for real, man. Come on. Don't just do it out of routine. Ask them for real, man. How do I know when I'm losing heart? Because I need to know. I need to know some indicators. Amen. That's right. The key to knowing when you are losing heart and when you are losing your focus is always in the questions you ask. Mm -hmm. It's always in the questions you ask. Let's go to the text real quick. Let's go to the text. Uh, 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 in verse number one, he says here, Lord, how long will you continually forget me? Mm. Mm. How long will you continually forget me? The first thing we must take note of is this man feels abandoned. He feels abandoned. He feels abandoned. Uh, has anyone ever felt abandoned before? Yes. Be real. Yes. Man. Tell me the truth. Don't don't don't, don't yes. I had too sanctified and act like yes. I ain't never been through. Let me tell the truth. I felt abandoned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, when you feel abandoned, it's almost like God and the rest of the world is overlooking you. Mm -hmm. I feel left alone. I, I, I feel shut out. I feel like nobody cares. I feel like nobody's worried about me. I feel like nobody want to pick up the phone and call me and check on me. What's up with this? I feel abandoned. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Nobody knows what I'm going through. Nobody knows that I, I got a pink slip last week. Nobody knows that my daughter is sick. Yes. Nobody knows and nobody cares that I, I, haven't, I haven't eaten in a week. And nobody cares that my lights are about to get cut off. Amen. Where is God in all of this? Where is God? In this? Amen. I feel abandoned. Then the second question comes up. Lord, how long will you hide your face from me? How long? How long will you hide your face? Oh, man. I, I love you. And, 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 and when I when I go to you, Lord, I, I used to feel connected to you. Man, yes, God. Oh, God. I, I used to feel like we had a relationship. I used to feel like we were family. I used to feel, oh, my God, that, 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 that when I had my devotional time and, and when I had my prayer time, when I had my worship time on my own, I used to feel something. Yes, God. But now I don't feel anything. Lord, I used to be able to come and instantly feel your presence and instantly feel something in church, but now I don't feel nothing. How long are you going to hide from me? Lord, how long am I going to feel this way? Oh, man, I've been there before. And all you can do is continue to press your way. Continue to try and connect with God. How, how long? How long? How long? Uh, then the third question is, how long will I store up anxious concerns within me? Agony in my mind every day. Now, now what the brother is starting to do is he's starting to lose psychological control. That's right. My God, because now he's having episodes of anxiety about a situation. Let's be real, man. Uh, how many of you have had some episodes of anxiety? Amen. Oh, my God. I mean, I can't sleep. I got insomnia. That's my right. God, I'm tossing and turning. My stomach is in knots. I don't feel well. I don't want to eat anything. I don't want to do nothing but just be anxious over this situation. This represents uh, the introversion 
because he is starting to direct his interest on his experience and feelings as opposed to his external God. 